Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10 and skip the Windows 11 security requirements such as having to have a TPM or using secure boot. So of course you could use Rufus to make your own custom flash drive that bypasses these requirements. But if you don't want to do that and you just want to use the Windows Media Creator tool and the standard uh, Windows ISO file, you could use this method. So this will not let you bypass the issue if you don't have 64 gigs free on your hard drive or at least a dual core processor but if you don't have a dual core processor and 64 gigs free on your hard drive then your computer is probably too old to run Windows 11 anyways. Alright so let's see what happens if we try to install or upgrade to Windows 11 uh, without the proper requirements. I'm just running the setup from the Windows 11 ISO file that's mounted on this computer skip that even though it's not going to get that far all right so you can see this PC does not have a TPM 2.0 version so it's not going to work all right so how we're going to get around that is we have a script that we're going to run from an admin PowerShell prompt so we'll type in PowerShell here Run as administrator. All right, we'll paste in our command here. Press enter. All right, so now we have some options here. So we could reset Windows Update and Network Settings for zero, and then number one, apply registry tweaks to bypass the Windows 11 restrictions. So that's the one we want to use. And then you could also set the Windows Update target release version or remove it, but it will also ask you if you use number one here. So we'll press one and enter. All right, so now configure Windows Update target release version. So right now it's set to 24H2, which is what we're going to use. And you could set a different one if you want to do that. So we're going to use number one here. I have not tried uh, option number two, so I'm not sure how well that will work. So this script was found on GitHub from a guy called Win11Modder, that's his username, so he made this thing. So I'm going to use number one here. Press enter. So now it's doing its thing. Making all its changes. Alright, so we're done. So we're going to press 4 to exit. Alright, so now we're going to try it again. Check this here. You probably want to do this option when you're upgrading to get all the latest and greatest features and drivers, but if you want to save some time and do it later, you could do that. Accept the agreement. All right, make sure we have enough space. Okay, so looks like it met the requirements now because we're on the screen where we could actually start the installation right here. So we're using the option here to install Windows 11 Home since we're on Windows 10 Home and to keep the personal files and apps. And then you could change this if you want to just have it remove everything. So that's up to you. All right, so I won't bore you with the rest of the installation process. But we do have a video showing how to do an upgrade, so I'll put a link in the description if you've never done an upgrade. All right, so this script has to go online to run, but he does provide a downloadable script in case you're not online or if you'd rather just run it locally so you can run that from PowerShell. So I'll put a link in the description for the GitHub page where you can get this information. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.